Hello, welcome back to our channel. This is Ian. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it now. Click the notification bell so you, you get updated with our latest content. So for today's video, we're going to discuss and share with you guys how we can study effectively. It's either we're studying in, in preparation for an exam or just anything. Number one, read and read a lot. So for this particular section or step, you should be able to gather multiple sources of information for the particular topic that you're studying for. And once you read the materials, you should be able to associate one material to the other material and to the other material. You should be able to read for the bigger idea or the bigger picture. And at the same time, you should also be able to read for the details. Sometimes the books will contain multiple information and that you should have the skill and the knowledge to be able to capture the details that are relevant, relevant to the topic and relevant to, to for you to pass the exam or the test. Again, number one, read and read a lot. Number two, write down what you understood and keep writing. Once you have finished reading the particular topic, you can get a pen and paper and start writing whatever it is that you remember and what you understood from what you have just read. Keep writing because that will make you remember everything. Again, number two, write down what you understood and keep writing. Number three, face the mirror and teach yourself. So at this point, you're already done reading the information from the textbook or from the different resources. And then you are also done writing whatever it is that you remember from what you have read. Now is the time for you to face the mirror and teach yourself. So in this particular step, you need to act as if you're a trainer or a professor. And then you have to teach yourself whatever it, it is that you learn. In this particular uh, activity, your memory or retention will be heightened because one is that you're using muscle memory by demonstrating and acting as if you're a teacher. Second is that you are able to listen to yourself teaching back the information and that you will have better understanding and better recall for whatever it is that you're discussing. Again, number three, face the mirror and teach yourself. Number four, keep doing steps one to three until you're comfortable. As they say, repetition is the key for you to have better recall. So at this point, you have to keep reading Keep writing and keep doing the teach back to yourself. The recall will be amazing. Again, number four, keep doing steps one to three. Additional resource that you can use for free is the use of online flashcards. This will make your recall extraordinary. This works as your regular flashcards that we used to have back in school. But this time around, uh, you, what you need to do is just to load the information into the system online. And then you can actually download the app or go online using your browser and your iPad. And then start using the flashcards. Use the flashcards for a better recall. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're able to learn something new today. And if you have any question about what I have shared, you can put your comment on this video and I'll answer them in the comment section. And of course, for more information and videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get updated with our latest content. Thank you again.